Doctor Doctor. Doctor Doctor. 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 Uh, there's also Doctor Vodka, Doctor Death. Uh, I think the oh, there's Doctor Simp, Doctor Titty, and then uh, Doctor Bride, Doctor Alistair. Wow, you gotta give him rankings and make them compete. There's like 14 or 15 of us. Wow, man, that's cool. And we started it like maybe two to three days ago. You're cold blowing up. All right, now I will be right back. My doctor buddy is Doctor Bright, so I would be I would be Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. Yeah, we all just have really weird names, and then we all have our special weapons. Doctor Vodka. There's three of us that are technically high ranks. Mm -hmm. There's me, Dr. Cola, Dr. Meth, and then Dr. Vodka. Dr. Vodka has a hacksaw. Dr. Meth has a gun. Which is scary. And then I just have a shoe. <laughs> and leech tea. Did you ever see that guy that like threw a shoe at President Bush during a press conference? Really? Yeah, he was in the Middle East, and this guy, I, I forget, he said something like, like, you, um, you violent dog, I hate you, and they threw the shoes at him, and President Bush was on it, dude. He dodged, like, really good. I, yeah, you'd think a shoe coming at you from a press conference would be shocking, but he just, I don't know. He's just, just like, this is normal. He dodged it, like, yeah, you know, the like the bullets from the Matrix. Elite trainer box. That was crazy. Kind of like guy, that one... Will you fit plus game with the soccer balls and dodging the cleats? <laughs> that guy went, went to prison for like six years for doing that. It sucks, but. I mean, did it to himself. I guess so. Yeah, that's pretty crazy.
but they get all of their naughtiness out that way, so they're really nice after that. They I get all of their jerkiness. <laughs> <laughs> so since my brother let me borrow his game, since I didn't have any of my own, me and my grandma went to GameStop, and I was thinking, you know, I'm just going to get a couple of games. Yeah. So I didn't know they had that many. Then I'm like, uh, the first game I saw was the Untitled Goose Game, and I'm like, uh, I'm okay. going to get that. Then I got the game, a game that I actually came from, which is Zelda. That is and then I found that they had Borderlands. So was Terry able to join us yet? No, no news. Either way, I didn't hear. I know Terry Moraz won't be able to join us today. Tracy has two. Wow, that's so three and a newborn. Is that right? Yeah. That is hard. A newborn makes right? it harder. Like two he more. Says he says he just... absolutely loves it. Um, I don't understand, but that's what he said. Two more, and he can start a cult. <laughs> he can't breastfeed. That's why he loves them. Oh, he can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be offensive on the screen. <laughs> So welcome to Curse of Strahd, streamed live from Going Gaming in Grub and Grog in Troutdale, Oregon. Uh, we have some news um, that we will discuss with our players here. So um, next Saturday will be our last game in the shop, um, at least, um, hopefully, temporarily. Um, they are closing down D&D games in the shop until... Um, <laughs> It's all Multnomah County can hit phase three, so uh, it could be a while. <coughs> so I am moving our games to my private game room, the Greenwater Guild Hall. And um, so those games uh, will be $15 per player in person. Um, and that also, uh, if you so choose, if you bring me a mini, I will. you get one custom paint job for free and then each additional one is five dollars after that for remote players it's uh, five dollars per person uh, yeah so in the near future I'm, I'm planning on um, investing some of that some of that income back to the game itself so there will be I'm hoping to do like pizzas or sub sandwiches and things like that um, you can bring anything you want to drink, you can bring anything you want to snack on. Um, it's all good with me. Oh, sorry. And, um, totally spaced it. So, Kira will, we were discussing uh, via text messages, um, she may need a carpool. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, I'm not that far, so. Uh, yeah. I, do that, my dad I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys want to just meet yeah, here, sure. or okay. however you guys want to work that yeah, out. My, my dad just wants to meet her first, since he's a little overprotective. No, that's that's understandable. That's normal, though. Like, I'm glad. Uh, no, over. <laughs> I mean, he's literally overprotective. <laughs> well, yeah. I got kids, I'll show them pictures that usually is good enough on somebody's mom in there. They haven't been eaten by bears or anything. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yes. Knock on wood. I can't control everything, Chris. <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes you just have to go with the attrition. But you're on your dad, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, since my grandma doesn't want to drive that far. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. It, it is a little bit further. I mean, she wouldn't mind Obviously. if it wasn't like over like a bridge like she just doesn't like going out of good. Oregon damn I don't like coming back to Oregon <laughs> 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 I 
first I didn't really want to move, and now that I, I mean, it, it only took like three weeks. I'm like, man, shit's so much better over here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as long as you guys can work out a, uh, a ride system. Uh, I'm also tinkering with the idea of continuing, not as much, but tinkering with the idea of some trinkety items that will get handed out that will have in-game effects. Um, I think you saw, I'm working on a sh uh, shark tooth fossil necklace. Oh. oh, I thought that was for personal stuff. Well, I got three of them, so. That's cool. I, I figure I'll um, turn, the, turn those into something. Um, I don't know why I always wanted a shark tooth necklace, but I guess I just wanted to be a badass um, from the fourth <laughs> grade. <laughs> 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 That's what makes you badass, a shark tooth puka shell necklace. Yes. Well, I assume if the guy's wearing it, then he murdered the shark. Right, then he fought the shark, right? You need the fresh I didn't clearly. just fight a shark, I fought a 45 million year old shark. <laughs> Came back and never knock off. <laughs> so, oh no. So, yeah, um, I will have um, payment options in our Facebook messenger group uh, as we get closer. Uh, cash is, of course, always okay. Uh, my preferred method is Cash App, since I have a Cash App card that'll work anywhere. And, uh, and of course, the time-honored PayPal will be available as well. Um, as far as like the remote play, pretty much nothing will change for remote players because, um, except maybe that the internet connection will be a little bit more reliable. But uh, other she than that, I was that, Dr. Pepper. that will be our and plan in the very near future. At least she, she's never drank it, I don't think. So, so Carrie says like she's having teacher. an internet issue, they have an outage, oh, and grandma. she is out for today because she can't connect and she is sad. Oh. She's going to have some of my internet. Spare it. Bard has left the game. Can you use my hotspot? <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a hotspot if you can reach all the way to California. So where we left off, you guys, is uh, Billy and Seal with us? The CL is, the Billy is still sleeping. Uh oh. For real. All right. See but I have is. his character in case we need a squishy caster. Okay. Yeah, you can. Thank you can you. run his character, and then he can blame you if he dies. Um, yep. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> so where we left off, you had entered um, the townhouse at the outskirts. Um, you had made your way through um, the house levels and discovered how to get down into the sub-basement and found an entire crypt and complex down there. And you had just entered uh, an area that appears to be cultist chambers. I think you already ransacked the room. Uh, yeah, you already ransacked the room. We're like, yeah, let, let, let's just do that. And so the the dungeon that I have on the table is a uh, what I'm referring to as a generic dungeon. It's just used for battle sequences. So it's kind of like playing Final Fantasy VII. You get into one battle, and then later you get into another battle, and you're like, this scenery looks vaguely familiar, <laughs> but it's a different monster. That's how this is going to work. Right. Um, that will be Hi. one benefit of playing at my place is that my table is huge. Like, it, it's friggin' gargantuan. To tell you how big my table is, these blue chairs, I can fit three of them on a side. And they actually slide under the table. That's how this table's, uh, King Arthur has nothing on me. Um, wow. So. Except for roundness. Except for what? Roundness. Yes, yeah, it's not round, but yeah. Um, 
gargantuan. Yeah, it, it's gargantuan. It's it's so large that even for a gaming table, I'm I I have my eye on a smaller table. Um, <laughs> That, I, that may be purchased in the near future just to make it easier to get around in the room. Um, the benefit of that, of course, is that I have boxes of Dwarven Forge that, will, that I plan to mix with the Warlock tiles and the um, dungeon tiles that I've already got. And so I can fill the table with dungeon. That's cool. Yeah, so yeah, I, I kind of dig that. You guys had ransacked what appeared to be cultist quarters, and out of the cultist quarters, there is a small staircase or a small uh, set of stairs that go up to the north, or I'm sorry, to the east, and then hang a right to the south, and then there is the. Um, The stairs that um, Skype is choppy. Okay, hold on. I can fix this. Uh, we'll just do a hotspot. <laughs> 